2015 general elections are almost over, and almost everyone has an opinion on how things have played out so far, including poet, playwright, and Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoinka. In an exclusive interview with Channel's Television at his Ogun State residence, Professor Shoyinka applauded the peace accord signed by President Jonathan and the President-elect Muhammadu Buhari, saying that was an example of how leaders should behave, but was also very critical of those who see the peace accord as nothing but a piece of paper. There's no question at all that a peace accord of that nature set a marvelous example. The, quest, the, pro, the problem is that you have people high up for whom such a peace accord is just a piece of paper. <coughs> those, who, those who actually rig the elections are ultimately not the followers, but the middle, the middle leaders. And by, by, and by that, I'm referring specifically to some governors, to ministers, um, so, some of whom have been caught red-handed, manipulating the votes and in a, in a most blatant and uh, criminal way. But the two main contestants did set an excellent example. And that is the way true leaders should behave. Professor Shoyinka also gave Ayanek a pass mark on the electoral process so far and just below 40% on democracy in the country. I would give INEC a pass mark. Now, there are one or two issues about the system which I think can be taken care of. Where, for instance, should there be a separation of time between accreditation and the actually voting? A number of people have voiced the same thing, and this just has to be corrected. If you're talking about election, pass mark. If you're talking about democracy, I'm afraid we're still somewhere below 40%. The Nobel laureate has never been one to mince words, and he certainly didn't when it came to condemning what had happened in River State in the just concluded presidential elections there. And there's no question in my mind at all that what happened in River State during the presidential and assembly elections uh, were co com a complete atrocity, and uh, those and the finger the finger points definitely at the kind of uh, middle characters I'm talking about. Elections are supposed to enable us to avoid response in violence to misgovernance. You know, you wait when you're dissatisfied. When you, your rights have been abused, citizens wait for that moment when they can exercise their voices. And then some bunch of criminals calling themselves governors, calling themselves generals, calling themselves ministers, they conspire and thwart the will of the people. Professor Shoyinka rounded up the conversation with a few words, saying that despite the fact that elections cannot be perfect, INEC would need to address the clear and present issues in order to restore confidence to the electorate. Cynthia Rea, Channel Television News.